Hey Sash, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be doing your reading for the new moon in Taurus to see what energies are available for you and how can you best navigate this time. Let's see what's in store for you, Sash. So this is a new moon for all of us, for the collective. This is a new moon in Taurus. Taurus is a sign that is an earth sign, so it's associated with the element of earth. It is associated with the physical realm, the sensuality of the senses, um, the five senses, or six. <laughs> um, it is associated with luxury, abundance, stability, groundedness. So a new moon is always a new beginning. It is a gateway that allows us to bury our intentions in the deep, fertile, dark soil for that intention to bloom like a seed into a flower. So at this time, it is highly recommended for you to evaluate your relationship with your self-worth and your um, relationship with money in general and how your material world might reflect the amount of love that you have for yourself. Some of you guys are... Some of you guys are rushing into something new or trying to make movement happen in a rather rushed or fast way aiming to leave leaving behind a lot of things that you feel are in the past things that you don't want to relive um, I feel like this is related to a lack of freedom I feel like some of you guys have very important financial goals and you want them to manifest fast so you can leave behind lack of freedom or a sense of being trapped within your circumstances in some shape or form some of you guys are being very careful about money, you're taking care of your money, you're counting your money, making sure that you are um, making the most out of all the resources that you have and defending what you have manifested very passionately. Some of you guys are also thinking about that money, how to manifest more money, how to bring more abundance into the physical world. And this might seem like a financial reading, but it's actually because this new moon is very much associated to how our relationship with our self-worth manifests externally as our relationship with money. So this is kind of crazy as far as timing because I did do, I did, I did record a 20, vi 20 video online course about the subject. It's called Abundance Blueprint and the offer at a discounted price was up until the end of April. But since this new moon is coming in and it is like so connected to those subjects. I am going to be extending the offer for another week. For those of you who want to go through that conscious process of evaluating your beliefs, evaluating your connection to money, evaluating your connection to your self-worth, and how that could be holding your back, or how that can bring you into your dreams and into the highest manifestation of your future. I feel like it is important for you guys. I feel like some of you guys are quite focused on this. Others of you are more focused on family. I feel like I feel like now you are in a very wise space in which you have awareness of all of the mindsets that you need to have in place. I feel like now that you're going into this new beginning in your job or in your career or in, in finances in general, I feel like you are very aware of the things you need to be careful with. You're very aware of how to work with others to maximize your efforts. You're very aware that you have to be patient in order to find your results. You are very aware that you have to be stable and generous and grounded and just in order to bring it all together. And you do know that you have to leave behind certain things and that you have to protect the things that you have manifested and your dreams that you are about to manifest. Planning, strategizing, thinking clearly about things is going to be very powerful for you, Sag, this new moon. I am happy, 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 happy to see this. You've got everything you need. 
Authenticity. Stay close to your practice. So whatever spiritual practice you have, whatever makes you feel more connected to spirit, whether that's meditation, yoga, dancing, massage, you know, whatever it is, make sure that you are close to your practice at this time because it could be very beneficial for you to feel that connection. The second card is courage. Stay in your heart. You're, you'll, you will be uplifting someone else. You stay in your heart. So do things out of love instead of fear. And the third card is power. Your respect is your greatest strength. So have respect for your work. Have respect for your financial situation. Have respect for yourself, for your self-worth. Have respect for the people around you. And have respect to the power that it is to have an open heart. If you are a yogi, if you like yoga classes, if you like all of these um, physical manifestations, this is a great time to do um, core work and open, like heart opening sequences. If you see, they both have um, a posture that is inspiring or igniting the openness of the heart chakra. So that would be a wonderful practice to have at this time if you are someone who practices yoga. I would love to share yoga classes with you in this space. I'm thinking about it. Maybe in the future I'm gonna dare to go ahead with that. I am a yoga teacher, but I haven't been able to teach in a long time and I do miss it quite a bit. So I might be doing that maybe. In the future, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna be pulling just one additional message for you from the Oracle of Mystical Moments. All is connected. I'm going to be reading the message now. All is connected. Innovation, transformation, growth, and release. A girl sits on a tree trunk and holds the leaves in her hand. While others blow away in the wind. A small spider... There's a little spider. I don't know if you can catch a glimpse of that. It's quite tiny. A tiny spider como que attaches few leaves together with his fine filament, even though the wind threatens to tear them apart. Don't be afraid of changes. Release your fear by letting go. Change is hard and often painful, but it is the only way to grow. You may drift, but you will never lose yourself. Life goes on and nothing ends. It is reshaped into something new by the wind. Not better or worse, but different. And in that change lies wonder and opening. So, yep, you guys, keep your heart open to all the change that might come and be triggered through this new moon. I hope that this was very helpful for you guys. I love sharing these readings with you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful time. You have a, a wonderful new moon. I'm going to be leaving below all the information of the Abundance Blueprint course. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.